speaking of Black Lives Matter, Chris, uh, there's another story I wanted to uh, talk about today that involves a Black Lives Matter hero and a true hero of the resistance, Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mitt. No, Mitt Romney. Uh, so for anyone who doesn't know what that refers to, Mitt Romney, of course, he um, he did show up at one protest, took a photo op, and then I'm imagining he left. And uh, all of a sudden in uh, in 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 the Twitter verse, he's uh, he's some resistance hero. Now, he also said uh, he also said a couple things about Trump being unpleasant in the past. The, he was the wearing big, a mask too. He and he was wearing wear, and he wore a mask. He wore a mask. <laughs> Good call, Chris. Right, right, right. Um, so everybody was thinking that, well, th they need a couple Republicans to kind of get on board with saying we don't want to vote in another Supreme Court justice until after the election. Let's see what the election does. Uh, and they were hoping for the resistance hero, Mitt Romney, to have their back. Well, guess what, folks? Romney backs vote on Supreme Court nominee, clearing the way for Trump. Senator Rip Mitt Romney said Tuesday he would support a floor vote to replace the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, essentially clinching consideration of President Donald Trump's nominee this year, despite the impending election. Now, if you're one of these people who gave Mitt Romney the benefit of the doubt because he took a photo op, you're a chump. And you've probably been a chump about a bunch of other things. You've probably been a chump about Mueller. You've probably been a chump about John Bolton. And I know that it's really hard because we're raised in a society where there's good guys and there's bad guys. And if Trump's a bad guy, which he is, and Mitt Romney said Trump's not very nice, then Mitt Romney must be a good guy. But for those of us who don't subscribe to themes that you're taught when you're five years old and then you freaking grow up, we realize that sometimes there's just bad guys in a situation. And hopefully you learned this life lesson. Not you, Chris, but, you know, the <laughs> metaphorical you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mitt Romney is being hailed as a, as a, as a, was, was being hailed as a hero before. Oh, we went to BLM. He's uh, during the uh, impeachment, this, that, you know, he's against Trump, you know, part of the resistance. And of course, now, what did you expect? What did you expect? He's still a Republican. You know, he still has to contest for his seat. You know, he's going to have an election at some point. And of course, he's got to he's got to play ball. And I'm sure they go, they take him into the back room and they say, OK, Mitt, you did a good job. You know, you said a few things. You went to a protest. You know, you were in the mask. But now you got to you got to vote this way. And they pressured. They pressured him. They pressured him. I'm sure. And he, the guy is just that way anyway. I mean, he was governor of Massachusetts when I was living there. I mean, he's, he's a Republican. What do you want to say? I mean, this is just what powers that be in a corporate estate do. It's nothing, you know, nothing super bizarre. Yeah, they rely on people's amnesia. They rely on people. And I, and I think it's also a reflection of people are so conditioned to expect the absolute bare minimum that Nancy Pelosi is somehow fighting for them because she rips up a sheet of paper. Mitt Romney is somehow fighting for people because he gets a photo op at a protest. <laughs> and, and, and then you and just ignore everybody's voting record. Just ignore well, everybody's voting record. While she's eating artisanal ice cream. Right. <laughs> She's eating her ice cream. She tore up she tore up the paper so she could wet it and wipe down some of the sticky parts in her in her in her twelve thousand dollar freezer. Well, she helped pass a bigger defense budget for Trump, the most dangerous oh, yeah. president in US history. And everybody's saying, Oh my god, he's so dangerous, but we'll give him more money for regime change, for war, oh, how about for drones. How about Adam Schiff, who screams at, the, you know, that guy made himself a political celebrity over Russiagate, of screamed course. at the top of his lungs that Trump is this traitor. Trump is this. He votes to expand Trump's buying powers. Of course. Of Either course. you don't give a shit about the people who live here. If you think that this treasonous traitor is, uh, you know, uh, is, uh, you know, going to spy on people or you're just full of shit. You're just they, bullshitting. They and are. you're just Listen. another you're just another CIA approved lackey. That's it. And you know what? I put a picture on my on my face on my Twitter actually where some people did they they forgot about the picture, you know, a general amnesia these days. And it was a Trump and a Melania next to Hillary and Bill Clinton all together oh, yeah. wearing the nice tuxedo and clothes. You know, it was I didn't think it was a wedding that they were at. And then one with Obama and Bush senior, Bush uh, you know, uh, his son. Uh, and of course they're all together. They all it's a big club, like George Carlin said. None of us are in it. They all—it's all a ruse for us. Plus, they're not really the ones in power. 
the corporations are in power, the lobbyists, the massive industries that, that really make the fortune. They're just the rubber stamp for a lot of the capitalism mechanisms that just continue on without, they're not elected, nobody elects them, but they get all the rubber stamp. Oh, you want a contract? All right, Jeff Bezos, here's a defense contract. You know, all right, Bill Gates, here's a defense contract. And then they play them off each other as if, you know, Jeff Bezos has Washington Post and, oh, you know, uh, democracy dies in darkness. Well, wait, aren't you the one taking all these defense contracts and <laughs> making Democ all these drones? And like, come on. <laughs> democracy dies in darkness and they're doing what they can to help. Absolutely. They're that's shutting what, off the lights. They're turning off the power. <laughs> that's the real That's the real slogan. Yeah, I, I think it's so funny because if you're a billionaire and you really want to change the world for the better, the last thing you would ever do is run for president. That's why Tom Steyer is a total scam. It doesn't matter how how nice he is to Bernie or how cute his tie is. He's a total fraud. He destroyed the environment that now he's trying to fix. He, he got course. rich destroying it. Now he's saying he wants to fix it. If you're a billionaire, there are so many things you could do to help the environment. So many things that you could do that would cost you really very little. But uh, he's not interested in doing any of those things. So he's a total fraud. But then it's like, wow, this guy's a big asshole. But then you had Howard Schultz come in and he's like, ah, you think he's an asshole? Look at me. I'm an even <laughs> bigger asshole. Let me tell you how you can't have health care. And then everyone's like, wow, this guy's an even bigger asshole. I don't think this guy got rich off of selling coffee themed milkshakes to people. I don't <laughs> think I want to even go there anymore. And then and then Mike Bloomberg shows up and he goes, ah, you think that guy's an asshole? Here I am, mega <laughs> asshole Magoo, straight up oligarch, stop and frisk guy. Here I am. And they're like, yeah, he's an even, wow, like the asshole train just keeps rolling. And then somewhere in a cave, somewhere that you and I don't even know about, Chris, Jeff Bezos is just sitting there sinisterly petting a cat or something. And he goes, <laughs> oh, you think they're assholes? Wait until I'm installed emperor. It's coming, baby. <laughs> Coming. I think he's set up to be like the first trillionaire. Who knows? It was, people have been joking about that, but who knows? I mean, these people he's en route to be the first trillionaire. He's en route to be the first trillionaire while people wait in line for food all of the Great Depression. You know what that's called, Chris? A failed state. That's what that is. We both know that. It's capitalism. That's it. Here we go. Business as usual. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news.